What's going on YouTube? Subboom Saint bringing you another review this week and this week we're going to take a look at the Astic 100 watt temp control by E-Leaf. Happy President's Day guys! I hope you guys had a great Valentine's Day yesterday. Mine was alright. Um, my girl was sick so... Eh. You know, I kind of told her to kind of stay away. Shh. Don't tell her that. Don't tell her I said that. But anyways, you know, she's kind of been sick. She's been under weather so we didn't get to spend valentine's day together but we did get to spend saturday the day before valentine's day together so it was pretty cool it was pretty cool um it's snowing here again in virginia so um definitely a bummer about that but anyways guys wanted to kind of give you an update on the channel here i'm gonna be maneuvering the days around on what days i'm gonna upload what days i'm not gonna upload because like you guys i am working a 40 plus hour a week job I do work in a plastic factory, so, you know, I kind of, I'm trying to manipulate that and kind of squeeze this in at the same time and all that, so don't ever worry about me not making videos. I'm always going to be making videos no matter what because this is what I enjoy doing and I love giving you guys pointers and helping you guys out and letting you guys know about cool products like this and whether you should buy it or not. I know what it's like buying products and you just don't like it at all and you feel like oh man I just dropped that much cash on that and all that yeah but anyways that is what I'm here for and I'm always gonna do that because I enjoy vaping and it gives me an excuse to buy more mods Shh. <laughs> but anyways guys let's dive down to the nitty and the gritty of this device and we will talk a little bit more about this and we'll come back to FaceTime. Vape on it. Talk about it. Tell you the pros and the cons. All the nitty and the gritty. Y'all know what that's about. So let's do that. Vision of the iStick TC100 Watt by E-Leaf. Black, white, gray. I got the gray. Here's you guys a little bit of something, something to read. There you guys go. Pop this thing open. It's where your mod's gonna sit. This little thing here. This is your charge cable and your firmware upgrade cable. Nice detailed user manual. Not bad at all. Not bad at all. So right here, that is your TCR functions. You do have TCR. They're telling you your range to adjust if you know anything about that. I am not familiar with it. I do not mess with it, but that is there just in case you guys needed to know. Go ahead and move all this good stuff out of the way here. And here's the iStick 100 watt. You have your firmware upgrade and your charge cable down here, battery venting. Nice little small logo here. A little more battery venting. Spring loaded 510. As you guys can see. I believe that's either brass or brass plated. Stainless steel threads. It does have this little opening right here in case you have a bottom airflow atomizer. This will lock and unlock your fire switch. Which is pretty, pretty nice. I am not going to complain about that at all. Now. As you guys can see here, the doors both pop off, both sides, sorry, pain in the butt there for a minute. As you guys can see, you got a magnet there, magnet there. You got these little grooves right here, which makes it to where, you know, you can use it on whichever side you wish. As if you pop this out. You have your positive. Your negative here, spring loaded connector, magnet here, magnet here. Pretty clean on the inside, pretty clean. You can run this in one bat with one battery, as you guys can see. One battery and it's on. If you use one battery, it is recommended to stay between 75 watts or under. So pop that battery in. Let me show you guys the other side. Other side's pretty much the same thing. A few differences here. Plus down, uh, plus up top, negative on the bottom. Spring loaded on that side. Magnets, and here is your firing switch. That is what makes it fire. 
your magnet will press up against that and that'll have your firing as you guys can see there's where your little grooves are so you can put this on that side and that on that side or vice versa all that good stuff so let me go ahead and put that battery back in there and there you guys go got that going on so it has the same board as the RX 200 so pretty similar pretty pretty basic but I will walk you guys through it um, let me go ahead and zoom you guys in a little bit here here we are with the menu screen of the iStick 100 watt as you guys can see you have your menu button here down button up button and your firing bar now let me go ahead and walk you guys through the thing here when you turn it off it has to be in the off mode click it 10 times 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 9 10 that'll tell you the temp I do not know if that's the temperature of your mod or what it is but it's there Let's turn it back off now in the off mode click it 20 times for the firmware version that you have on one two three four five six seven I'm not gonna do the whole counting thing for you guys as you guys can see I have the version one I have not updated it don't even think there is an update yet so in the off mode press the fire button and the down button kinda hold them give it a little bit of time tells you your battery voltage okay still off now press the up and the fire button to get into your TCR settings that's where you adjust it up down move navigate down up navigate and here we are back to the normal mode here so let me walk you guys through now if you hold the menu system put you in bypass mode in bypass mode you are able to fire down to 0.1 ohms so there's that NI200 you can adjust your wattage or your temperature now in order to adjust your wattage in temp control mode you have to hold this hold the menu screen while trying to adjust you can't just click it you have to scroll so it's kind of a pain in the butt really really tedious really really tedious hold it again Put you in titanium mode then stainless steel mode hold it again that'll put you in your TCR settings one two and three and back to wattage mode so as you guys can see it is kind of a pain in the butt now whenever you go into temp mode let's see here we'll go ahead and NI 200 mode press the up button and the fire button to lock your resistance well up button hold the up button and that to go in stealth mode there too so let me go ahead and pop on an atomizer here alright as you guys can see it's locked your resistance do it again unlocks your resistance now the down button and the fire button is what puts you in stealth mode don't know why I just did that but it did do it so there it is and there you guys go and lock your wattage and all that good stuff is the up and the down button simultaneously or together and that will lock it and there you guys go good to go unlock it vice versa now that is the menu screen and I'm feeling pretty comfortable with it it's pretty nice sleek little mod here feel pretty good going back to FaceTime vaping on it talking about it a little bit and let me get it out of 
temperature mode here because I have regular coil head in here, Canthal coil head. And yeah, so not too bad. Adjusting your wattage into temp control mode can be a bit of a hassle. Especially for me, I did not like that at all. Hopefully they'll come out with an update for that if there's an easier way to navigate. But other than that, guys, I don't really have much to say to you guys. And that'll be about it. Go back to FaceTime. Alright, guys. That was the nitty and the gritty of the Astic 100 Watt Temp Control by E-Leaf. And I gotta admit, the only con that I got for it is adjusting your wattage in temp control mode is a bitch. Excuse my language, but it is a pain in the butt. I do not like that at all. That is my biggest gripe with this mod. Other than that, I really don't have all that many cons about it. My version, I do have a little bit of button rattle. Just just, just a little bit. It's just enough to annoy you. But hey, I have to tell you guys everything that I see wrong with the device. Sorry, I got scritch on my head. Anyways, now my pros with it, I love the way it feels. I love the switch. I love the me locking mechanism. I love that it has stainless steel functions. I know a lot of people don't like stainless steel, but I like stainless steel functions. It's just, that's, I like it. I mean, I like stainless steel temp control. So I like, I mean, I like that it's up firmware upgradable. I really like the price point on it. I mean, 45, 50 bucks, you can't go wrong. It's a lot better than dropping 100 bucks on a mod and not liking it. Um, other than that, guys, I really don't have all that much. Oh, you can also use one battery in this device. I don't know why you would, but you can. But it is recommended if you use one battery in here that you do not exceed 75 watts. So keep that in mind. Just throwing that out there. Safety reasons, guys. Safety reasons. You've got to stay safe. Anyways, guys. Please leave a like, comment, subscribe, whatever. It doesn't matter. Um, also, uh, in the description, I will put a link on where you can get a couple of these. I'll put a couple links in a couple different vendors that I trust, that I buy from. That way you guys can know. Um, I will try to post the ones that have the fastest shipping below. That way, yeah. So it can kind of help you guys out a little bit, you know. If you like me, whenever I order something, I'm like, did it ship? Did it ship? It had to a ship. Why ain't it shipped? Has it shipped? When's it gonna be here? So I'm really bad about that. So I would definitely try to try to post that down below. Um, other than that, guys, thank you so much for watching, and I'll see you guys next time when we come back to nitty and the gritty of the next device. See you guys then.